Good morning. Welcome to the artwork of CP. Okay, it's the domino effect today because so you might you might hear Daniel and I a little bit crazy fine. No. Um, and I'm just going to cut right to the chase. On Monday, last last Monday, I went to the spine specialist. Now, this was after getting x-rays. I don't know if I told you guys this yet, but I went and got x-rays on my back and the x-ray tech who technically isn't supposed to read the x-rays, but mine secretly said something. And I'm like, okay. So you secretly said something. And I didn't even think about it because I had to run around like a chicken with my head cut off get these x-rays and so when I go to the spine specialist last Monday they go well we have bad news for you and I'm like okay just give me the bad news just give me the bad news because you gotta leave me out I am the one, me, I'm the one that said something's wrong with my back. I want to go get x-rays. My medical liaison looks at me like I was kind of crazy when I said, I want to go get x-rays and see what's wrong with my back because I knew something was wrong with my back slash middle of my back pain that isn't on pit, that isn't contingent to when I have my pit. Yeah, something is wrong. So, and I said, I have my good days and my bad days. My bad days are okay. I can still function. And so, she goes, okay, let's get you x-rays. Well, turns out, fast forward, and Danielle already knows this. <sighs> and now I'm going to put this without winking back to us. <laughs> I have been doing a lot of grieving about it. I have been doing a lot of asking a higher power upstairs to help me since I got this news and God knows a higher power has been keeping me going um, previously because I did not know this was happening. But after 17 years, my spinal fusion has failed. Failed. And no one told me. No one told me. And I Googled it. Yes, you're not supposed to Google uh, medical diagnosis. But this was after clarification from a spine specialist. After you're allowed to Google. After, not before, you're allowed to Google. After you get clarification from any doctor you're allowed to Google, you're allowed to ask them follow-up questions, you're allowed to breathe, you're allowed to punch a pillow, I don't care, you're allowed to talk to your BFF, which my BFF has been very supportive because she understands CP and yeah, she understands CP even though she has a totally different CP than I do, but yet she understands CP. She's understood CP for 20 some odd years and almost 20, 
25. Am I correct in saying that? 25? You mill. Hang on. Hang on, people. No, no, that wasn't the question I was asking. <laughs> that wasn't the question I was asking. No, you are not. Okay. So he's like, I always get that. I always get that confused. So basically, my DSM <laughs> understands CP. Like, there's no tomorrow because she has CP. And so she understands CP and understands the underlying issues of CP. So, yes, you're allowed to talk to your BSF. Yes, you're allowed to cry about it. Yes, you're allowed to punch a pillow. Yes, you're allowed to just be, yeah, just deal with it. And so the next step is what they call pain management. And pain management consists of Drugs, shots, basically, shots in my back. Now, with me, which is always the wild goose chase with me, it's always the wild card with me, they might need more imaging before they can help me. And if, if, the spinal injections don't work. I am taking myself into surgery and having a spinal fusion redone. Yes, I am taking myself into surgery, having a spinal fusion redone or, or at least cleaned up spinal fusion cleaned up or spinal fusion completely redone. If pain management shots do not work, I am not messing around with my back and I may be in a wheelchair that reclines for a couple months. I may be doing this podcast from my bed. I don't know. I maybe, hopefully, hopefully they won't move me to a rehab place. Hopefully they won't. But if they do, they do. And so hopefully I'm able to still do my work. I'll be able to still do my work regardless. And if they if they want to give me PT five days a week just to um, just to see where I stand literally, see where I stand literally and see if I can stand up for the first time in 17 years and the only reason why I'm in a power chair is because I I was told that my spine wouldn't be can't hold me up so I don't know if the we're going to see if pain management will work and then if it doesn't, 
I am having surgery. It's my choice to have surgery. Yes, I know. I know. I, I know. I know. I know. It's a high risk surgery. I know. But I have had this will be the third time I've had surgery on my back. Three times. And as the old edges goes, hopefully the third time is the charm. And hopefully I, because these spinal fusions are supposed to last, last lifetime. My spinal fusion only lasted 17 years. And so, and I have a lot of stuff going on at my house in general. So if you want to send positive vibes to me, that is great. I'll take all the positive vibes I can get because shooting a big needle in my back isn't um, the easiest thing. <laughs> and laying on my stomach while shooting a big needle in my back is not going to be the easiest thing. And I will have a person there with me. I will have something to squeeze <laughs> so I don't squeeze that person's hand up to this. Um, I will try to do the best we can, but it's all in the higher power um, hands now. It's not necessarily in the doctor's hands. It's all in the higher power's hands, and which leads me to my next subject. My next subject is we're taking next Sunday off completely because huh, I have a house guest. Number one, I have a house guest. Number two, the internet down here may be a little wonky because we are the host city of, believe it or not, the Super Bowl. And so I'll be screaming my little heart out for Kansas City because for those of you that don't know, that is Danielle's home team. Yeah. That is Danielle's home team. And <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And so go Casey is right. So that is Danielle's home team. The internet is going to be wonky. And I don't want to risk a podcast on Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> No, yeah, I can be told that they be heard for they is not for Okay. Um, well, I'll say yeah. that. Into consideration. I'll take that into consideration. And no, my house guest is not coming down there because she had Super Bowl tickets. Yeah. Nope. 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 This visit was planned. This visit was planned already. It just happened to fall on Super Bowl weekend. And no. The Super Bowl is 20 minutes away from me. 20 minutes away from me. And no, I'm the farthest I'm going to the Super Bowl party is 
five seconds away from me, I'm going to a bigger TV. That's all. I'm going to a bigger TV. And so five seconds away from me. No, I'm not going out. No, I, my house guest was all buddy to take me out. And I said, no, we're not going out. Venus on a good day is traffic is horrible. I can't, I can't imagine Phoenix on Super Bowl Sunday. Well, <laughs> me, I may take videos of the 101 if I have time. I may, yeah. we'll see. I'm not going anywhere. I, my Super Bowl party that I've been invited to is five seconds away from my house. And all it has is a bigger TV. So, mm -hmm. um, so I am super excited. I'll be sharing KC on Kansas City. And if, if the Denver Broncos were playing, we would have a huge problem. <laughs> we would have a huge problem <laughs> because um, the Denver Broncos are Danielle's second home team. My home team. My home team. None of this Arizona <laughs> Cardinals, Arizona Cardinals, Arizona Cardinals can go on the wayside. Why? <laughs> I'm sorry, but the Broncos always be my home team. I don't think they played in the Super Bowl. They played in the Super Bowl when I was young. No, I do remember that. And this is the second time Casey is played in the Super Bowl? Uh, uh no. Super? Didn't they, didn't they play a baseball World Series at one point, too? No. 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 Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Right. I remember that they yeah. did. Right. What? Yeah. The vials did play. Yeah, yeah. Right. It, uh, yeah. Uh, team. Ah. Ah, why? Why I think it Kansas City play? I don't know. I'm now all confused. But I am. We have to my football. Ah. Okay. Okay. So what I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of baseball. I'm thinking of. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I sorry. You people can shoot me now. I'm thinking that's what it was. They played in the baseball world championships. That's what it was. I'm now thinking. I'm getting two sports confused with the same state. Ay, 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 <laughs> ah, yes. Yes, I know that. And so Kansas City Chiefs will forever be in my heart. And so the next weekend, Danielle and I may have little voices <laughs> because we'll be screaming our hearts out. We'll be screaming our hearts out. And even though the Super Bowl is 20 minutes away from me, all I've been doing, as I said to you guys, is going to a bigger TV. All I said is going to a bigger TV. That's all I've been doing. I'm not getting on the road. I'm not doing anything. Yeah. And so for those of you who are down here planning to go to the Super Bowl, good luck. 
good luck, good luck. And I can't give you any advice on Phoenix highways. I can't. I just, yeah, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. And so that's why I'm not going going out to a Super Bowl party. Technically, I am, but the Super Bowl party is only five minutes away. So, yeah. Danielle and I may Danielle and I will be calling on Saturday. We have to discuss the time because I have stuff going on Saturday morning. But Danielle and I will be calling on Saturday and we'll just go into a great day on Sunday. And yeah. Yeah, so go KC. And I, even though it's beautiful, even though it's beautiful where Danielle is, I can see it. I just saw, I just saw my house guest get on a plane, and the plane isn't delayed. I don't know if he's flying out of Van Junction or Denver. I just hope that a big huge snowstorm doesn't delay her plans, otherwise I will feel extremely bad because um, Phoenix is, Phoenix Airport is going to be chaotic. So if we have a delayed plane, yeah, yeah. so send good vibes to my house guest, send good vibes to Kansas City that they make it out, send good vibes to me just because of mental issues. And I will give you guys an uh, update on the pulmonologist. And the, I have to go look, what do I have on Monday? I don't know. I know I have the pulmonologist this week. <laughs> and I have to go look hang on hang on and the neurologist that's the other one I was looking for neurologist and so the pulmonologist and the neurologist I am just a teensy weensy concern about the neurology end of it because last time it wasn't, it was given to me in this is what you're dealing with and your cerebral, your central cortex is sending and he didn't necessarily explain. That's why I'm switching neurologists. So hopefully this neurologist has a better bedside manner and hopefully I will get out of this scot free. And the pulmonologist, I'm not so concerned about because my lungs haven't proved. And so I, um, it's gonna be interesting, long week, long week. And this, this was the beginning of the long week. And so with that, I'll, we'll see you guys next Saturday. We'll just decide on the time. And the and I think God is live. And so we'll see you guys next Saturday. And you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. And Danielle, do you want to lead us out? Thank you for following us with the cute Blondie said. Thank you for following us with the cute Blondie said. Thank you for following us, and we will see you guys next weekend. And go, Casey, and let's hope they make it out here because it's beautiful today, but you never know. So they're coming from snow to 70 degrees, so you never know. So hopefully all planes will make it out there, including my house guests. Hopefully I won't land up with more medical issues than I can, than I want to deal with. But um, 
I will keep you guys updated on my back. I will keep you guys updated on brain scans. I will keep you guys updated on my lungs. So this is the real reality of CP and yeah. So let's do this, you guys, and have a great day. And I will, we will catch you guys later. Bye, you guys. Bye.